Hello, hello, hello. This is Big Bobby, your favorite click and chortle guru from Studio L7, where we dish out more than just tips on photography, podcasting, field recording, and B2B filmmaking. Today I've got a flavor-bursting proposition that'll make your taste buds do a little boogie. Now hold on to your lenses, folks, because we're trading our F-stops for food stops and our light meters for lamb. That's right. St. Anna Greek Orthodox Church over in sunny Roseville, California, is so thrilled about its nearly finished construction that they're saying, let there be food festival. Picture this, a two-day Epicurean extravaganza where the shutter bugs meet the sugar bugs. Mark your calendars for Saturday, the 9th of September from 11 a.m. to the light-leaking golden hour of 10 p.m. and again on Sunday the 10th from high noon until the 8 p.m. twilight. But don't fret, my focus faithful. The only thing getting underexposed here is your diet. So grab your widest wide-angle lens and prepare to capture the culinary cornucopia. The only rule? No flash. It scares the souvlaki. Now you don't want to lose the plot here, so be sure to follow the festival on Facebook for all the sizzling, drool-worthy updates. Consider it the sneak peek trailer to your feature flavor film. So pack up your camera bag, folks, and make sure to leave room for a doggy bag. Let's show them how we say cheese at Studio L7. And remember, when it comes to food and photography, timing is everything. So don't get caught waiting for the reheat. Catch you at the festival, folks. Big Bobby, signing off. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Studio L7. I'm your host, Big Bobby, your go-to guy for all things photography, podcasting, field recording, and filmmaking in the B2B world. You know what they say, right? A picture is worth a thousand words, but who knew that in the future it might be worth a thousand lines of code, too? Yep, you guessed it. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of AI and creativity. And trust me, it's more exciting than a shutterbug in a camera store. You've probably heard about AI, artificial intelligence. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Machines taking over, humans made redundant, and cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. But no, fear not. AI isn't here to steal our creativity or start painting the next Mona Lisa. It's here to give us a nudge, a boost, and maybe, just maybe, help us get those creative juices flowing when we're stuck staring at a blank canvas or an empty SD card. I mean, think about it. We've got AI creating artwork, composing music, even writing scripts. Wait a second. I hope my scriptwriter isn't a bot. But seriously, the future of AI and creativity looks pretty exciting. Imagine, you're out on a shoot, and you're not quite sure about the best angle for that perfect shot. You pull out your trusty AI assistant app, feed in the details, and boom. It gives you suggestions based on millions of data points from the best photographers around the world. And there you have it, the perfect shot all thanks to a little AI magic. Or imagine you're making a film for a client. You've got your storyboard, your equipment, but you're struggling with the lighting. It's just not right. What do you do? You whip out your AI-powered light assistant, of course. It analyzes your scene, your equipment, and gives you the optimal lighting setup for that perfect shot. No more fumbling with those light meters or squinting at shadows. And it doesn't stop there. AI can help with editing, too. Imagine an AI assistant that can sort through hours of raw footage and pick out the best shots, the best angles, and even suggest the best soundtrack. I mean, who needs a fancy Hollywood editor when you've got AI, right? But don't worry. Humans still have the upper hand. We've got something AI doesn't. Intuition, imagination, and the ability to see beauty in the most unexpected places. So, while AI can help us find the perfect angle, set up the ideal lighting, or choose the best shots, it can't replace the human touch. It can't replicate the thrill you feel when you capture that perfect sunset, or the joy when your film touches people's hearts. And let's face it, AI can't appreciate the smell of a dark room, the feel of a vintage camera, or the satisfaction of seeing your film on the big screen. So, my fellow shutterbugs and cinephiles, don't fear the rise of AI. Embrace it. Use it as a tool to enhance your creativity, not replace it. Because at the end of the day, it's not about man versus machine. It's about man and machine working together to push the boundaries of creativity and create something truly extraordinary. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll see an AI win an Oscar for Best Director. But until then, let's keep doing what we do best, creating, inspiring, and capturing the world through our lenses. That's all for today, folks. Keep those shutters clicking and those reels rolling. I'm Big Bobby, signing off from Studio L7. Remember, the world is your canvas, so go out there and make it a masterpiece. 
Until next time, keep those creative juices flowing, and who knows, maybe the next great idea is just an AI assistant away.